All right, we are done, we are done, and we are done. The lasagna is completely done. It is out of the oven. That is a couple of little garlic knots right there. You could put garlic bread with it, but you see what I mean when I say make the top look a little prettier? That little bit of basil on top, not basil, parsley. And look at that. Look at that. You could absolutely add more cheese. There's our lasagna. We did that. Yes, we did. Please like and subscribe. Please feel free to share. All right. And I will see you on the next one. Be blessed. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, we're going to make some lasagna today. We're going to make it a little bit differently. We've got a pound of hamburger meat there. Eckridge smoked sausage. Skinless. Our ready-to-go lasagna noodles. Spaghetti sauce. Italian seasoning. Oregano. The Queen Mrs. Dash. Some garlic salt. We've got bell peppers in there. That's the yellow, the red, and the green. Good old-fashioned onion there. And that is the purple onion, red onion, whichever you call it. And then we have spinach, okay? So this is what we're getting ready to use to make our lasagna. Let me get set up, and I'll be right back. All right, I've got the hamburger meat in there. We're going to put some Mrs. Dash on it. We're going to put some garlic salt in there. Then we're going to put in some Italian seasoning. Then we're going to put in some oregano. We're going to break this meat up. Uh oh. Okay, and then we're going to also add, I'm not going to add the sausage in yet. I will in a little bit. But we want to get this browning first. And when we get to that point, I'll let you know. We're going to go ahead and put that onion in now. As well as the onion, the bell peppers. We're going to just let them all cook together. See that? So we're just going to let that cook together. We're going to brown this all up. And I'll come back in 10 minutes and let you see what it looks like. And whether or not we're going to go ahead and put that sausage in now. I'll be back. I'm back sooner than you thought. I decided we got to get that in there. Garlic. Okay. And now I'll be back. I'll be back. All right, fabulous people. We are back. Okay. Now I have actually cooked this for 15 minutes instead of 10 but now we're going to get that sausage in there. Okay? And now we're going to actually cook this for about 10 minutes. Ooh, sausage overboard. Okay, we're going to cook this for 10 minutes. And then we're going to put in the sauce and we're going to start assembling our lasagna. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put one of those cans of sauce in there. Yes, yes. Get that can in there so that all these flavors can do what? Marry together. Yes, yes. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so delicious. You could probably eat this all by itself. So we're going to turn the heat down a little bit, let it simmer. And while this is simmering, I'm going to set up and then come back. And that won't be five minutes. So we're going to let this just kind of marry for five minutes. And then I'm going to come back. And we're going to start assembling this lasagna, okay? I'll be right back. All right, let's get to assembling this goodness, okay? I'm going to go ahead and use some of this one that I've already opened. We're going to put some in the bottom of the pan, okay? Because we don't want any stickage happening, right? 
get that in the bottom of that pan. Okay? That's what you want. I'm going to be using the, Astall the, Astallion, the Italian cheese, what I've got left of that. I will be using some queso. I've got another bag off to the side. Can you see that? The queso cheese I told you about. And then we're going to also use, sorry, Mexican style cheese. Okay? So now, the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put these in the bottom of the pan. These are no cooking. So we don't have to cook them. We just got to put them in there. Is this not going to be fabulous or what? Then, we store the layering process. You can put mushrooms in here too if you want. My family didn't ask for them, so there will be none. Get that all at the bottom of that pan. Spread it all out. And you continue this process until all of the goodness out of this pan is gone. Until you've cheesed it up and everything else. In we go with the spinach. It is going to wilt down to a little bit to nothing. So this may look like a lot, but we've talked about spinach before. It's not. It's not much at all. Put a little bit more on that layer. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in some cheese. This is really simple, really easy. If you don't want the spinach, this is what makes this a wonderful one pot wonder kind of situation, you know. Everything's in there. All you need now is garlic bread, right? You got your greens. Put that on there. Look at that. That's both cheeses in there. I mean, how can you have a lasagna without cheese, right? Push that down a little bit. Flatten out some of that spinach. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit more sauce on this. A little bit more of this mixture in here. Before I put down my next set of noodles. You don't have to do this process. Depends on how much you got. Okay? And I've got plenty. And I'm not doing a whole bunch of layers here. Alright? Put it in here again. Look at that. And then we're going to put some more on top. Look at that. Can you just imagine how good this is going to be? This is going to, I'm just going to put the rest of it in there. There we go. I'm going to tear up my cabinet in the process. I'm just going to layer that all out. We're going to do what again? Let me get this out of the way. And now we're going to go ahead and layer it up with some more of that spinach. Like I say, it doesn't matter which way you do this, which one you do first, which one you do last. It doesn't even matter. Just get it in there. Okay. Put a little bit more in there. Put a little bit more.
feel free to push down your lasagna. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the push down process, okay? So now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put a little bit more of this sauce on here. Okay, because we don't want a dry lasagna, do we? No. And then we're going to finish this off with a little bit of cheese on here. Look at that. That's why I had the two cans. You just never know, right? Put the rest of this queso on here. And then we just have one more layer to put on top. And we are done. And we're just going to bake this baby in the oven. That spinach is going to wilt down with the cooking process. We're going to put some cheese. And some more of this sauce on top. Make sure you get the sauce on those noodles on top since it is a no bake noodle okay because that's what's going to help it bake and get good and tender for you okay there we go and then we're just going to finish this up with a little bit more cheese and then we're going to put her in the oven and we're going to bake her on 350 for about 20 to 30 minutes depending on your oven. You just need the cheese to melt, the spinach to wilt, and you are good to go. Just use the rest of this bag. And then I'm gonna go in with the Italian on top. I mean, this is pretty simple, right? And then if you want to get a little fancy with it, oh, it's over here. Well, I was gonna use that, but I'm gonna use something else. We're gonna use some parsley, just to make it a little pretty when it comes out. You don't have to do this. It's not gonna add any flavor to it. But it's sure enough going to look pretty melted in that cheese. Trust me. It is going to look pretty. So now we're just going to put this in the oven. Bake it on 350. Anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes depending on your oven. And I'll be back. Alright. We are done. We are done. And we are done. The lasagna is completely done. It is out of the oven. That is a couple of little garlic knots right there. You can put garlic bread with it, but you see what I mean when I say make the top look a little prettier? That little bit of basil on top, not basil, parsley. And look at that. Look at that. You could absolutely add more cheese. There's our lasagna. We did that. Yes, we did. Please like and subscribe. Please feel free to share. All right, and I will see you on the next one. Be blessed. Stay safe. Bye-bye.